I want to talk to you a little bit about tornadoes. It's not something that really we think about a whole lot in Florida, but we should because we get a lot of them here. In fact, uh, the most tornadoes since 1980 state by state. Well, we're ranked number three. That's right. I mean, when you think about states like Texas and Kansas, you know, those are the ones you think about, uh, you know, tornadoes in Oklahoma and Nebraska. When people think of Florida, they tend to think of hurricanes, floods, hail, you know, high winds, lightning, things like that. But uh, tornadoes, we rank number three, so that might have caught you a little bit by surprise. Although you're weather spotters, you're probably not surprised because you're like me. You love weather, right? So you might have known that. But a lot of folks didn't really uh, appreciate the fact that Florida is number three. Now, fortunately, we don't get those big, you know, EF4, EF5 tornadoes like they have out in the Plain States and Tornado Alley, which makes it kind of difficult. This is why we need you because a lot of times we see what we see on radar and of course we have our own live Doppler radar and we also have Viper radar which with all the algorithms built into that allows us to see things that the traditional radar doesn't really see. This was a, a system that produced a tornado a couple of months ago and you notice how you know we just had a big area of heavy rain and lightning on the radar and then it just uh, kind of took on a bit of a hook echo there. So these are the things that we can see here at the TV station, but you are the boots on the ground. You know, just because we see that does not necessarily mean there's a tornado on the ground just because we have indications of that from the radar, you know, aloft. For example, this was a funnel cloud around Port St. Lucie about a month ago or so. And uh, here's another view of that uh, you can see right there. Uh, by the way, you never want to take pictures when you're driving. If you're a passenger, that's fine, but don't ever do that while you're driving. Always take your picture safely and never while you're driving a vehicle. But uh, again, your where your help comes into play here is that you can let us know if that's actually touching down. The radar indicates a funnel, uh, but it does not indicate that it's necessarily on the ground. Also, I want to let you know that while the peak month for tornadoes across the country is May, we still have reports of tornadoes every single month of the year. Unfortunately for us, they tend to be in the minor to moderate EF0 or EF1 categories, but uh, the small ones are the ones that sometimes slip on by, and we need your help uh, verifying those. So a watch means conditions are favorable, so have a plan. A warning means it's likely and you need to take action. And one of the ways that we're going to have a little fun here is uh, to describe the watch and the warning. Say you have like all these ingredients for a taco, right? Doesn't mean there's actually a taco. You got to put them all together. Once it comes together, okay, you see the taco right there. The taco watch and taco warning, right? I'm going to have a little fun. Weather has to be fun once in a while, right?